Hi everyone, welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband. If you are like me, you likely have been collecting tools for a very long time. One such tool that I acquired back many years ago is the M28 battery operated tool line from Milwaukee. While I really like the tools and they have significant power, Milwaukee has more or less emphasized the M28 tool lines these days. And I am so grateful to Milwaukee for continuing to make the M28 battery packs in the meantime. Today's video will show you how to quickly change the old incandescent bulbs in your M28 flashlight and refresh it. Uh, because the incandescent bulb does consume a lot more energy and when you replace it with a fairly inexpensive LED from say Amazon this is going to help you get a much better stronger light and also help uh, the light last a lot longer especially with the M28 packs which already have a lot of storage capacity. Stay tuned until the very end and I'll also show you a comparison between the two lights that I have in brightness and in longevity because I do have two Milwaukee M28 Red Lithium XC flashlights and what I'm going to do is compare them side by side and keep one light with the incandescent bulb and one light with the new LED bulb and that way you can compare the two side by side. Let's get to it. For this quick tip video, what you'll need is one latex glove, some Kleenex or a rag, and the replacement LED. And what um, I'll do is I'll put in a link in the description below indicating where you can purchase this LED for a fairly decent price. And of course uh, the M28 uh, incandescent uh, flashlight that you're wishing to convert. Now if you feel bad about uh, just using one glove, don't. Um, what I do is I reuse my gloves. I do have another video which shows how you can reuse your latex gloves and I'll leave a, a link in the video card above as well as in the link description below. So the first step is uh, simply to remove the outer cover and that's done by twisting it uh, counterclockwise. Once it's removed you'll notice that there's the um, aluminum piece right here. That can be flipped open by just holding on to this hook and push it, pulling it towards you. And what you'll notice inside, you'll see that there is a spare bulb right there. And that's an incandescent bulb. And the bulb that we're placing is right here. And the reason why we're using a latex glove is so that none of our oils transfer onto the LED. Here I've taken it off, put it aside. This is not going to stay, well, I'll just let that close. And the LED bulb comes in a very uh, secure plastic container and that's to prevent it from being damaged during transportation. And that you would just simply, once you've unscrewed the old bulb, you would place the new bulb inside this coiled area. And once, once it's reached as far as it will go, place it in position. I like to adjust it just slightly so that it's centered. Once it's centered, you can put the outer covering back on. And there you go. Now you've replaced the incandescent bulb with an LED bulb and this will 
provides you with more light and the light will last much longer, especially with the larger M28 battery packs. Now I'll show you a comparison of the two lights side by side, one incandescent and one LED. Here are the two flashlights side by side. This one has the incandescent bulb and this one has the LED in it. And I just want to turn them around and then the M28 packs like the M18 packs have a meter for the battery pack. Just want to show you they're both at full, meaning four lights. And now we'll do a comparison of their light output. What I've done here is I've set up two sheets of paper with uh, font sizes ranging from 72 font to 12 font. And I've placed one in the center of a shower curtain, which measures 72 inches across, and one in the far right hand corner. Now this is the picture of the two sheets of paper with the light in the washroom turned on. And I'm going to turn the light off and shine one of the uh, lanterns onto the center of the sheet of paper there. This is the flashlight with the incandescent bulb and you can tell that this center is fairly bright uh, but it is not very defined and I'm just gonna bring it out there and around and you can see that on the upper right hand corner you can barely see the lighting of that uh, right hand side sheet of paper and for a point of reference at this distance which is about five feet you can see all of the letters this is at 10 feet and this is at 20 feet notice that it's quite spread out but not focused in the center this is the LED light from five foot distance and as you can tell it has a far wider intensity and it's far more focused on the sheet of paper. Now this may not be apparent um, in the video itself but if you look over to the right hand side the other sheet of paper is visible and the writing on that is visible but when you're looking at it from uh, I guess the video, you may not be able to discern it as uh, clearly as I can in real life. I'm just going to move it around a little and you can see that there is a uh, little bit of uh, a difference as the light goes around and the glare from the paper is not as apparent. Um, it, is cap it is possible to read the letters on the sheet of paper. But there again, you see how just changing the direction of the light against that sheet of paper affects the way the camera is capturing the image itself. And if I was to take it over to the camera, or rather to the sheet of paper itself, you can see that it's all very visible. Uh, but the light is so intense that it actually creates a glare on the sheet of paper. So it's e it's more visible to read the letters with the light beside it as opposed to on top of the sheet of paper itself. All right and this is the image from 10 feet away and as you can tell the center beam is very bright. The peripheral beam on the right hand side the sheet of paper is not as well lit. And this is the image from 20 feet and as you can tell there's less scatter as uh, you know, may have noted in the incandescent bulb there's a lot more scatter this is more focused and can really um, so you can see the sheet of paper from quite a distance away all right and here are the two flashlights side by side and in this comparison you can really see the differences whereas this light is far more focused and concentrated and a lot white the um, incandescent bulb is more fragmented, more scattered, and not as bright. 
Now I'm just going to move the uh, incandescent bulb towards the sheet of paper and you can see how it hovers and how it how you can read that and now the the LED light just yeah I know, all the way around you can see how that moves okay and again side by side there you go I hope this quick tip video helped you refresh your Milwaukee M28 light. Please leave me your comments or questions below. Thanks for watching and see you next time at Handy Dandy Husband.